best of the best is right in front of you. Mino Delinko, Dean Malenko, Mean Delinko, the man of a thousand holds, man. I can't mm -hmm. say enough good things about Dean Malenko. I know he was wrestler of the year in 1997. But what people don't understand, he had been in the wrestling business for like 18 years before he got a big break. He was a, he was a big star in Japan. Arn Anderson had come over and done a tour with us along with Steve Austin and several other guys working for World Championship Wrestling. And that was my first uh, meeting and first time I really got to spend some time with Arn. And I really got to respect him a lot as an individual and a performer. And uh, Arn at that point had went back to uh, Eric Bischoff, who was uh, at that point heading up World Championship Wrestling, and talked about uh, myself and Chris and Eddie about uh, bringing us over to work for WCW. And never forgot that. And uh, Arn, uh, up to this day, is still a dear friend of mine and somebody that I highly respect of, as a performer um, in the ring. and. Uh, uh, an individual outside of it. Uh, you know, he, he started my training after about four months. There's a certain adrenaline rush um, that you're not going to get on a nine to five job sitting behind a desk. We become friends. We're close in age, give or take a couple years. And I always say it, give or take, because I don't want to stooge him out that, yeah, yeah. that I might be, I'm a little bit younger. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> Dean, Dean's done stuff for WWF back in the day, like, man, uh, not Mandy shit, refereeing when it comes to Tampa some. Uh, he'd done a lot of different things uh, for, for NWA, stuff that was off TV. Because, and I asked him about it because I wasn't smart enough to the business back. I'm like, you know, hey, why aren't you on that show? Why, how are you? Why are you referee? You know, but it's a paycheck. And I understood that. But he said because, you know, he can't go on TV. And he was making killer money back in the day, him and his brother over in Japan. He said, I can't go on TV and get beat here to expect to keep my contracts in Japan. So even though he had some good connections with those companies because they knew who he was, he couldn't just go on TV and, and wrestle and get beat, but he could, you know, work some independent days for him as an independent contractor and do, um, you know, some refereeing or uh, maybe book some guys and do TV jobs and that type of thing. So Dean always had his finger in the pot, if you will, stirring a little bit, keeping the interest out there. But um, with that said, Dean, to me, I said it, I was in Australia and I looked at the referee and Dean was in the ring ref wrestling with another referee obviously in wrestling uh chris benoit i think it was yeah i just looked at frankie reyes who was from florida he's a malenko guy he was good friend with larry a little bit older than dean and myself and um, i looked at frankie and i said man my god is is dean malenko the most underrated wrestler in the world right now or what and frankie said man bobby i've said it for years and this was 93 and um and, and dean to me there's nothing he could or could not do in a ring he 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 was I'll say this about him, and I'm going to say it about someone else in just a minute, and that is this. If Dean Malenko's personality, because I'm going to let you finish up, Dean, otherwise I'll ramble on too long about Dean. Sure. If Dean's personality, because he had a great body, Dean could, uh, he was so, you would not, Dean had that fucking tendon ligament strength too, by the way. He had a lot of, he was a shooter, and, and he, he did some different stuff. I mean, he could work. But Dean had a good body, and Dean could work. But if Dean's personality, that held him back a little bit because of the personality that you saw on the back, off camera, riding around with, at a Hooters or at a restaurant or just, just on a bus with, Dean would just bust your gut with just funny, smart witticisms. Dean Malenko is, has such great dry humor, but they didn't put a mic in front of him. They just let him wrestle. Mm -hmm. Very educated, very worldly. And, um, man, if he could have... If he could have portrayed that on the TV with his interviews and stuff, it's hard to tell what he would have been able to do, especially once they got to WWE up there, WWF, whatever the fuck. I always say that. But anyway, my point is, if he could have conveyed that off camera, his 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 real personality onto camera, it's un, it's unreal. But even though he was wrestling the year 97 and world traveled, worldwide famous and all that, I still think Dean Malenko is one of the most underrated professional wrestlers of all time, and I'll shut up. Yeah, well, I was just going to say, for my money, he is the greatest technical wrestler to have ever appeared on television. Mm. Um, I, I could watch that guy. Look, back in the 90s, I said him and one other guy, said they are the future of pro wrestling. You know, neither one turned out to be true. I, I think the problem was, like, and you've told me before, like, if you talk to Dean Malenko, you've told me he's the funniest son of a bitch in the room. <laughs> he's got a cutting wit. He can turn a phrase. I think the problem was you put a mic in front of him, and he just it didn't come across. No. 
I think it's just one of those things. It just it didn't carry well. I think Dean Malenko is a fucking major talent. I think he is one of the most overlooked person easily. Like we've said before, he could be my number one on this list easily. Yeah. And when they got him to the WWE, they just didn't know what the fuck to do with him there either. So it was just right. one of those things that, you know what he is? He's the perfect guy, Gene wrestler in Japan. Yeah. He, he doesn't have to talk. All he's got to do is exactly. look your ass. Yeah. I respect Dean Malenko more than I do anybody on the planet. I don't know if he knows that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, I, I, at one time, uh, Dean and I were so close, I would have killed or died anything for Dean, you know? Order Pin Me, Pay Me, Have Boots Will Travel by professional wrestler Bobby Blaze Smedley. Go to Amazon.com and get your copy now. It's a powerful and insightful five-star memoir available to download or in paperback print editions. I got lost on the road somewhere. Was it Texas or was it Canada? 